Hey guys, it's Megan, and today I'll finally be doing the fourth installment in my craft room makeover series. I'm sorry that it's been so long since the last time that I made one of these, but I've just been too busy making stuff to clean it. Now that I've had a few months to kind of use the organizing systems that I put in place, I have a better idea of what works for me and what doesn't. Something that I didn't really plan for super well was how much more stuff that I would get, and I didn't really have any place to put that stuff, so you know, it's looking a little rough right now, but thankfully not as bad as it was when I first started, so yay, that's good. My sister was cleaning out her closet, and she wanted to get rid of this tall black drawer, so I decided to use it for some extra storage. We have a lot of DIYs and rearranging to do, so let's just get into it. Of course, this wouldn't be a craft room makeover video without a few DIY projects. I found this coffee mug holder at a thrift store when I went to buy records for another video, and I thought it would be perfect to hang buckets of pens from. I didn't want the indented letters, so I used some sandpaper to smooth them out a little bit, made sure to wipe off any sawdust, and then filled the letters with some gesso and a palette knife. I probably should have just covered the whole thing with gesso to make it more even, but I didn't, so I just sanded down any bumps after it dried. I painted the hooks using my standard galaxy technique. I've probably done this in at least like 5 or 6 other videos, so I won't waste your time explaining it, but it was quick, easy, and matches the whole purple galaxy theme that I have going on. Here's what the hooks looked like when they were finished. I sealed the paint using my Krylon matte finish spray. I made this Cricut tool holder a while ago, but the nails kept falling out, and I didn't really feel like messing with it, so I made a new Cricut tool holder using cardboard. I traced the existing organizer onto a piece of cardboard and cut that out. Then I glued that piece on top of another piece of cardboard, cut that out, and then did it again so that I had three layers of cardboard. I covered the edges with white duct tape and covered the front with marble contact paper. I got these hook push pins from Target and lined them up with the nails on the old organizer. So here's my new Cricut tool holder. It's literally the exact same thing but made with cardboard, but I thought that I would show it to you guys anyways. Now that we're done with the majority of the crafts, there are still a few more, but we can finally start organizing. I started with the biggest problem area in the room, which was this corner. Everything seems to kind of like pile up here for some reason probably because it stores things that I don't use as frequently. Another problem area is this chair. I don't really sit in it, things just pile up there when I run out of room on the table. Then there's this shelf, which I use the top shelf a lot, but I don't really use the middle or the bottom shelves too much. I also have this crate full of canvases, which I should really use more of, but you guys know that I do a lot of work in my sketchbook. I decided to move the black drawers into this area, and filled everything up. You might notice that these drawers don't have handles, and I honestly don't know why. I think they were missing a few when I had it in my room, so I put like ribbon and labels where the handles are supposed to be, and then when I gave it to my sister, I guess she kept it but took the labels off. And so, anyways, I took out the old ribbon and replaced it with some labels that I made the same way that I did in my last craft room video. When I decided what I wanted to put in each drawer, I used vinyl in my Cricut machine to finish the labels. Then I cleared off the table because I had another project to do. That's the thing about cleaning, I always organize a few things and then the bulk of the mess gets moved somewhere else. To organize my table, I used command strips to attach the power strips that I used to the wall. Since the cord for my light was kind of in the way, I used a smaller command hook to pin it back against the wall. I did the same thing on the other side too. I keep a hair dryer in my craft room to dry paint faster, so I bought this command hair dryer thing to put on the wall. I bought clipboards at Walmart to hang up and painted them with a light purple to match my room. I sealed in the paint with a layer of Mod Podge. I hung both clipboards beside my desk with more command strips and stuck a calendar in one of them. Then I cleaned up the area beside my bookshelf. I have this stack of scrapbook paper that's sort of hard to get to to see what I have. It's not a huge problem, but it's a little inconvenient to have to pull everything off of the shelf. To solve this problem, I covered a box that I had with duct tape, 
and place the scrapbook paper in with the bottom facing up. Now I can easily look through the paper that I have without making a mess. I bought this hanging file organizer at Target in their back to school section and hung it on the side of the black dresser. Now I have an easy way to organize important papers. Next I tackled the bins by the door. Since they're right inside the door, things tend to get stacked up here. My mom was getting rid of a bunch of my dad's old clothes and some other fabric type things, so she gave me them to use them in projects. I rearranged the two middle drawers to hold fabric, the one on the right holds things that I want to recycle in different projects, and the one on the left is technically for new products, but it's kind of just stuff that wouldn't really fit anywhere else. I also rearranged this metal tin so that everything would fit better. I found these tins that I got from the dollar store while I was cleaning that out, so I decided to make another magnet board out of an old cookie tray. I covered the tray with dollar store contact paper and hung it up using the command picture hanging strips that supposedly hold up to 16 pounds. The tins are empty in this picture, but don't worry, I found a bunch of stuff to go in them. I found these small pegboards at Target a while back and got my dad to hang them and the galaxy hooks on the wall for me. I wanted these hung up traditionally instead of with command strips since they would be holding a bit more weight. I used the bottom pegboard for cleaning supplies and the top one for markers. It would probably make more sense to switch them so that the markers are on the bottom, so I might have to do that. The marker organizer that I made wasn't really working for me, so I moved them into these metal buckets that I got on Amazon. I needed five buckets for all of them, so one of them went on a pegboard. I hung my Ohuhu markers up there as well, so I'd have them all together. So here's how the finished section turned out. The pegboards came with letters, so I used some of them to spell out my Instagram handle. Which, by the way, you should follow me on Instagram. Just saying. Like, nobody follows me there. Probably because I never post. Anyways, my DIY bulletin board was looking a little empty, so I decided to decorate it a bit more. I took the paint swatches that I usually keep in this sketchbook, and hung them on the bulletin board so that I wouldn't have to hunt for them whenever I wanted to paint. I also hung a bucket of paint brushes, these magic pens, and some extra pins. The paintings are staying for now because I don't really have anywhere else to put them yet, and I kind of like them there. I got this organizer cube from Michaels and put it on top of the black dresser. I plan to use this as a drying rack so that I won't have paper scattered all over the floor. For now, I just put my sketchbook and my iPad in there. Which, by the way, they didn't give me the right screws in this kit to build this, so if you buy this, definitely be warned. The last project I made was a paper towel holder, since I seem to always have a roll of them sitting on the floor. This is really easy. All you need is some ribbon and two small command hooks. Thread your ribbon through the roll of paper towels, and make a loop at the end of the ribbon by folding the top in half and tying a knot. Cut the other end of the ribbon, leaving a few inches to make another loop. I wanted to hang my paper towels off the side of the table, so I attached a command strip and hung the paper towels from the loop to see where I should put the other hook. I marked the spot with a pen, then I stuck on the other hook. After that, I tied a loop on the right, and my makeshift paper towel holder was done. Here's what the finished holder looks like. I love that it's super accessible, but still out of the way. Plus, it's easy to put on and take off if you need to. So here is my final craft room reveal. Things will probably get changed around again at some point, but I'm pretty happy with how it looks right now. I'm sure I'll get some comments about the furniture stacked in the corner, but yes, I can still access all of the shelves, I promise, it's all good. I could have lined them up on the more empty wall, but I like having the extra floor space. It is definitely not one of those perfect craft rooms that you always see on Pinterest, but you know, it's me. I got some comments in the last video saying how I should have bought all new furniture, but honestly, I'm just a little bit too cheap to do that, like it doesn't matter that much to me, cause I'm usually the only one that sees this. But anyways, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for my next video, which will be a full craft room tour. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, they are both at WellerMegs, and if you haven't, definitely check out my website, I'm really trying to get more content up there for you guys, especially with all the changes happening on YouTube right now, 
So yeah, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!